Fam. Whenever I want to check up on this generation, I go on social media to see what you guys are up to. And I am never, ever at a loss for words by the ignorance exhibited by so many in this generation, from the misspellings to the totally inaccurate word usage, to the grammar, to just the lack of knowledge um, in, in some of the um, things that I see. Now, my, my number one place to visit, it, because the, the, you actually type out your responses and your comments, is Twitter. And so I have put together some of the dumbest tweets that I have ever seen. And this is not to laugh at people's stupidity, but in some cases it's absolutely hilarious that um, the, the, the way that this generation views things and, um, and, and just have this stupidity, I mean, I'm, I can't, there's no other word for it. And I don't know if I should blame the teachers or the parents or the individuals themselves because in some cases, these are not even kids. These are young adults. So what were you doing in class? Sleeping on your texting? What were you doing? And, and that brings me to the other thing. This texting has created a generation of idiots because now you don't have to spell things. You can just spell it however you please or you can use these little acronyms and people have to sit there. I cannot tell you how many texts I get that I have to actually sit there and study it and figure out what the letters mean. It took me forever to figure out what IDK was until I finally just ran it through the internet and it was like, oh, okay, I don't know. So I don't know if it's just laziness that makes people use these things. But if I don't understand your text, I'm not replying because I don't have time to look up what an acronym means. I'm old school when if you wanted to talk to people, you picked up the phone and called them. And that's what I do. If I want to talk to my friends, I call them. And if they choose not to pick up, I leave a message. I don't have time to sit there with one finger sitting and, 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 and putting all these little things in there. So this whole video is dedicated to this generation, step it up, guys. There's nothing cute about being ignorant. Okay, here we go. Okay, granted, this was probably a typo, but I mean, really, you love the smell of incest. It, it's not even the same um, uh, vernacular. Incense and incest don't sound even remotely alike. But I guess this person wanted to, to tell you how much they love the smell of incense. Um, here's one from Na. I'm only 16, but my back aches like an 80-year-old with Arthur write this. Really? I mean, what happened to research? Even if you, if, well, maybe he didn't question it. Maybe he just assumed he was right. But you're wrong. Okay. Yes, you should get vaccines. And so what if that makes your kid artistic? That doesn't always mean he's gay. This is wrong on so many levels. First of all, okay, you should get vaccines. Valid point. But who said it makes your kids artistic? We're, 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 I don't even understand the correlation between the two things. And then that doesn't always mean he's gay. Wow. So gay people are the only ones who are artistic. All righty then. Um, why won't my power strip turn on? I have everything plugged in. Indeed you do. But most, most appliances, guys, come with instructions. 
So before you even begin to um, try to use something, especially something electrical, read the instructions. It's, it's just, you know, just a little tip from grandma. Okay, I don't understand why people always say the Mona Lisa is Leonardo da Vinci's best work. I really liked his role in Titanic. Okay, this is a case of obvious confusion. She's confusing the actor Leonardo DiCaprio with the painter Leonardo da Vinci. Not to mention that they've lived hundreds of years apart, but okay, Carla. Um, damn, the NFL been around longer than our government. We've had 48 Super Bowls and only 44 presidents. I didn't know that. Kanye, I, I'm hoping this account, I'm pretty sure this account doesn't belong to Kanye West, but whoever this Kanye is, uh, do the math, bro. Do the math. Okay, this is interesting because the we have even some people who are not that bright, as you know, working in public service. Um, I don't know if this was Starbucks, but it was one of those coffee places. And the person said, my name is Mark with a C. So they put Kark. All right, that's how they deduce that. Um, this is from Nini. And I mean, really, Nini, what is going on up there in your gray matter? The 4th of July is on the 16th or the 15th. And then the answers, Jaden says, the 15th, I think. And then Nini is grateful for the wrong answer. And this is why when you're in class, those of you who are studying, who are students and you're studying any particular discipline, don't cheat. Because if you're cheating with someone who's just as dumb as you, then you're going to get, or, or possibly dumber, then you're going to get the wrong answer and you're going to fail anyway. That's why it's important to study and get the right answers. Don't ask an idiot a question that they're going to give you the wrong answer to. Okay, dogs can't talk, so do they have brains? I mean, I know they walk, but it's only because we're telling them to walk. Actually, wrong, because I've had dogs who wouldn't walk even when you tell them to walk. You have to drag them sometimes, especially if the weather is bad. I had a dog who was just too cute to go out in the rain, but he wasn't going to mess up my floors, so he had to walk. And I dragged him out in the rain every time, and he was resentful, but he got over it. Okay, here we are. How, first of all, how did this teacher give someone an A+. Plus? I'm, I'm guessing that that was the only wrong answer, but that's a biggie. April Ham Lincoln. Not only is Lincoln's last name spelt incorrectly, but April Ham? I, why didn't the teacher correct this and put Abraham Lincoln as opposed to just giving it a A plus because only one answer was wrong? So I'm blame, I'm starting to think it's the school's fault. They don't care. Maybe they're overcrowded and they just need to, you know, turn out numbers, but they're turning out a world of idiots. Okay, this young lady was very happy that she was going, I'm guessing, to Olive Garden, but she didn't bother to ask whoever was taking her for the proper name, so she says, I'm going to Olive Garden. Close enough, I guess. Okay, this one really threw me for a loop. They haven't even cut the aux cord and you're taking baby pics. Shaking my head, retweet, my baby cousin is finally here. I'm guessing the aux is for auxiliary cord when it's actually umbilical cord. And it kind of sounds a little alike, but come on already. The auxiliary cord? Really? Really? Okay. Caitlin tweeted, my son does not like chicken. Oh my God. And then Rob, in his wisdom, said, well, he might be a veterinarian. I'm guessing Rob meant to say a vegetarian, but okay. He could be a, a veterinarian who, because he treats animals, doesn't 
want to eat the chicken, but I'm doubting that's the case. What does a quarter till four mean? Like, why is it called that? Because a quarter is worth 25 cents. So why is it 15 minutes? Now, this is deductive reasoning. I guess this person um, is confused between what a quarter in measurement is and a quarter as um, a monetary value. So this is why it's important to pay attention in class so that you can know the difference. I love my country. Thank you, mom and dad, for making love to me here. Okay, well, I doubt if mom and dad made love to you, but I'm guessing this person meant to say for making love and making them here. So uh, I'll give this one a pass because it's sweet. They're thanking their parents for being born wherever they are. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, this is always a bright idea, putting your credit card on Twitter. Dustin's first credit card. I'm so proud. You're growing up so fast. And um, that's probably mom. And so parents, be careful when you give your kids their first credit card and um, you, you know, you foot the bill for it because here's Justin. Thanks for dinner, my new car, and everything on eBay. Really, Dustin? Okay, I'm sure that's one decision mom's probably regretting right about now. Here's someone um, who um, their Twitter is blank in Romania. And someone tweeted them, what's that? And, and, oh, I hate that spelling of what. But anyway, I mean, really, you're too lazy to put in the H? It's one letter already. Okay, and so they answer, a country. The person, it is. And the other one, yeah. And then they're like, are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure it's a store. Okay, I'm guessing they're confusing it with Romans, the department store. But anyway, the person retweets... Uh, them back and says it's a country located in southeastern and central Europe, north of the Balkan Pen Peninsula, on the lower Danube, within and outside the Carpathian Arch, bordering on the Black Sea. This is a very detailed description. This person is obviously pr pretty well informed about where they're from. Almost all of the Danube Delta is located within its territory. Romania, Romania shares a border with Hungary and Serbia to the west, Ukraine and the Republic of Moldova to the northeast and Bulgaria to the south. And this person, still not quite grasping it, says, have never heard of half of those states. The, Uni the United States are so big. And um, I would suggest a geography class, maybe. Is Ebola a country? Another one. And you know what really kills me is it's a lot of these people are just physically um, attractive, which which is, uh, you know, in this society, it's a plus. But I've often said, what's the point of having a beautiful face if it's slapped on an empty head? Here's someone who calls herself Johnny Cash. Korea do not lie when they, though the spelling is awful, when they say they will bomb. Prime example, Pearl Harbor. Sweetie, that was the Japanese. It was not the Koreans. Okay. I, I'm going to be a teacher today. And um, hopefully someone somewhere will, will gain something. All right. Here is if Baracko Barner is our president, why is he getting involved with Russia? Another cute girl. Potato head. Barack Obama. Morocco Barner. She didn't even bother to, to get the correct spelling. She just put whatever she felt like up there. Here's another one. Twitter is my alter ego. I'm sure she meant ego, but really mahogany? Eagle? <sighs> my, my, my. Tricia, she's really smart. And she's not a kid. If that's her picture, then Tricia is not, um, not a little kid. But she's not that bright. I'd rather kill myself than commit suicide. It's the same thing, Tricia. So, um, anyway, this came from the top 10. And um, 
I almost didn't want to put it up because of her disgusting name. First of all, she calls herself a radio hoe. And then underneath that, her tag is Popeth thy you know what. <coughs> then she's sharing her HIV results. They came back positive. Not surprised with that tag. But then she goes on to loudly deduce, I'm clean. No, sweetie, it's not like a, a, um, a math test. If it comes back positive, you're not clean. All right, this is always a smart thing to do. Um, Bay, uh, the first tweet she sent was, finally got my debit card, love the blue. And she shows the picture of the card. That was smart. But worse than that, here she's replying to everyone. The back, of, the back code of my card is 388. Why is everyone asking? Guess what, stupid? They're going shopping with your card. I think the dumbest thing you could do is show people your credit card or tell them online or even some of these sites where they say put your credit card in. You have no guarantee that's secure. So now you've incurred all this debt where everybody else is shopping on your dime. Good luck, Einstein. All right. Moving on, Rosetta Stone did not sit on that bus for you gays to be asking for equal rights. Oh my goodness, she did not say Rosetta Stone. I, I, uh, I, I you know, I can't. First of all, it wasn't um, Rosetta Stone who sat on the bus. It was Rosa Parks, which is not even remotely the same name. Rosetta Stone actually is a um, reading and comprehension program. <laughs> um, maybe if this person had used it, then they could have read something regarding to black history and came up with the right name. Okay, moving on. Now, this is just cruel. I think I just hit a cyclist, but I'm late for work, so I had to drive off. LOL which is, I learned, late in life it means laughing out loud. And um, there's nothing funny about that, so I'm hoping Ray Pugh didn't actually do that. But if he did, I'm hoping they caught his ass. Late for work or not, I'm sure your boss would understand if you had to stop and help someone that you just knocked off their bike. Okay. Um... DM for a follow back. Really? Well, Jamaica, a country in Africa, right? What region are they from? I hope scholars and teachers follows this person back so that they can help him understand that Jamaica is not in Africa. Alex, he's here's a bright one. Who on here got a Twitter? <laughs> I mean, oh, jeez, it, it, and it gets worse. That's, that's the sad part about it, is that it gets worse as we progress. Um, here we got someone who calls herself loading. I hope she's loading some gray matter, because George Zimmerman was charged with second-degree murder. Who did he kill the first time? I mean, really, Lexi? <sighs> that's not what it means. Go to your law books and see what it means. It means that the, the it's not first degree is a is a willful intentional act. Um, second degree happens to be um, not necessarily intentional in the commission of the murder. So it it's um, by proxy. So someone did something and then you know you did something back and it resulted in their murder. And I probably don't have it 100% correct, but it's definitely one thing I know for a fact. It doesn't mean that you killed one person and so now that you've killed a second one, you're in second degree. That's not what it means. Okay. This was from Kylie uh, Jenner, which really surprised me. I want my first daughter to be a girl. And then someone called the hilarious idiot said, I also want my girlfriend to be a girl. Hmm. Okay. 
Then Jack, why do the women never have to take a DNA test to see if it's theirs? Well, Jack, you're obviously not a rocket scientist, but I'll share something with you. It's because we have the baby. We used to say back in my generation, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. Well, when you give birth to a child, you don't need a DNA, a DNA test, Jack, um, because there's positive proof. It's yours. Tyrese, I'm shocked. He says, Pandora, whoever you are, thank you. I get tweets about you playing my music all the time. Are you that out of touch? I'm hoping this was a joke. But really, Tyrese? Pandora, as most of you probably know, is a music app. So you didn't know that, Tyrese? And you're a recording artist? Okay, Johnny Football. Now, this is his deduction about a woman who's got A1 credit. That's that Philly Mignon. You know, Johnny, she's probably not going to want you, for starters, if she's got A1 credit and you can't even spell Philly Mignon, which is steak. I'm hoping you know that. But Philly Mignon sounds like an Asian girl from Philadelphia. I mean, you know, I, I can't. I can't. Moving on. All right, so here's someone bragging about white privilege. Forgot my wallet. MTA officer let me on the subway for free. Hashtag class privilege. Hashtag white privilege. Really? And the funny thing about these kind of things is that sometimes it's game. Sometimes I've known people who had a pocket full of money and would just steal things to see if they could get away with it. They didn't even need to do it. They just did it for what they consider fun. So uh, this is shameful. And there's some other shameful examples of hashtag white privilege. Okay, my baby sister's pregnant. I can't wait to find out if I'm going to be an auntie or an uncle. Oh, boy. Really? Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that they're thinking if it's a boy, they're going to be an uncle, and if it's a girl, they're an aunt. No, that doesn't determine. Your sex determines that you're the auntie or the uncle. The baby's sex doesn't change you, unless you change. Unless you get a sex change, then you can go from being an auntie to an uncle. But I don't think people usually do that because of the birth of a baby. So, no. Nope. You'll still be an auntie, whether it's a boy or a girl. Um, this was pretty weird. Okay, rest in peace, Nelson Mandela. What a great man. And they put up a picture of Morgan Freeman. Oh, my goodness. Andrew. I guess he just Googled Nelson Mandela and whatever came up. He was like, oh, yeah, that's him. Let me, let me put that up. Okay, nice sentiment, but wrong all right. Oh, pretty boy. Pretty stupid. Just made some cinnamon rolls. No, pretty boy. You made cinnamon. And cinnamon, synonym is not the same thing. Although the word actually means uh, things that are, um, I believe it's things that sound the same but are spelled differently. I could be wrong, but it's definitely not what you just made. Okay, here's someone's deduction. Um, wow, Will Smith kind of looks like the guy from the French Prince of Bel-Air. Did it dawn on you that it, it actually is him? That's why he looks like him. Um, okay, moving on. Here's another case of just ignorance. I'm going to Africa. I hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding. I'm white. Really? Really though? <sighs> Obviously, um, this Twitter user didn't um, realize that it has nothing to do with you being white. So um, that pretty much sums it up, folks. And, um, you know, I, I want to just say here that if this wasn't such an embarrassment, it would actually be kind of funny. 
but it's not because these are our future leaders. And for every smart kid and every genius, there's like a hundred idiots. So I'm a little, I'm a little um, concerned about this. And I, I want to talk to God about it. Lord, what is happening to our youth? Is it social media? Is it just um, all of the distractions and thus they just don't give a damn? They're not concerned with, um, with, with being educated. They don't think it's important. The, the world is ever evolving and the weak are not going to survive and being dumb is a weakness. Lord, you, you told us we can do all things through you who strengthen us. Help these young people see that they're going to need an education to get by in this life. They're going to need an education to get those dollars that they're concerned about. Lord, put your hand on the youth. Wake them up out of whatever fog they're in. They're walking around in this fog. I don't know if it's a fog of weed smoke or if it's a fog of molly or whatever it is that's just keeping them placid and ignorant. But wake them, Lord, because... Our future depends on it. Those of us who are older now, we can't, We have to lay down the torch and we want it to be picked up by those who are competent to lead us. And as you can see, Lord, the time we're in, there are many of our leaders who are not bright. And as a result, they make leadership, you know, we're, we're going to be led by fools. It's going to be the blind leading the blind. And, and we just, we don't want that, Lord. We, we're going to wind up falling off a cliff if we allow these ignorant people to, to um, govern and rule. And what's going to happen, I pray that it doesn't happen, but if you don't intervene, Lord, we're going to wind up with very few choices to the point where we have no other choice but to be led by a fool. And we don't want that, Lord, because it only leads to destruction. It has happened in the past where kings and rulers who were not fit to rule and have brought down nations. Uh, Lord, I thank you and I bless you. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the ability to make the videos. And thank you for those who are enlightened by these teachings. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.